So the Oculus community, regardless of, you know, anything, politics or anything, all unite against Facebook's swagger and policy switch. So, VR enthusiasts are pissed that Facebook announced that Oculus headsets will soon require a Facebook account to use. The policy effects from Oculus with the new with the Quest new codes will also be mandatory for every headset in the Oculus release in the future. If you owe a Rift or Quest or want to keep using the Oculus account, it will work until January 1st, 2023. Full functionality will require a Facebook account for. It's possible you'll lose access to some of your games and applications over time if you don't have a Facebook account. The announcement came out of the Oculus users are immediately angry and disappointed like F, F, <laughs> or F you, Michael Edwards, as in this guy I named like it sounds. Yeah, that's going for a no-go for me, another Facebook user added. Many users felt betrayed that Oculus star started by former Rocky and Northern Burby. And they met in 2012 found a wildly successful Kickstarter campaign the company was acquired by Facebook. Kind of like a certain other company that was acquired by Google. Well, uh, immediately a year after the company was made. But some people will understand it very rarely given Facebook's empire was built by the data driven advertising. Work Eden assumed skeptics on Reddit that Oculus hardware wouldn't require Facebook login. In a separate comment, there was he promised that Oculus wouldn't track you and flash as that you would do anything expensive. Work Eden left Facebook in 2017, started his own creative virtual border wall company called Andrew, which signed a contract with U.S. Border Custom, border Customs and Border Production earlier this year. He's no longer associated with Oculus. But responded to accusations first day was raining back in 2014. I want to make clear that these promises were approved by Facebook in the moment and ongoing basis. And I really believe that it could continue this quit yet. Everybody is now angry at this because nobody won't, because they promised they wouldn't. Okay? And again, and again, this is another thing, you know. I didn't know that Oculus was even owned by anybody, but a Second Life style platform was announced last September. Pairing users a Facebook account would easier protect the growing Oculus community. The com- company said Oculus would play this decade, code of conduct, or update Facebook community standards. The company claims that a more consistent way to perform bad behavior while still respecting unique aspects of virtual reality. And yes, everybody is angry. Of course, everybody could be angry because nobody wants to do this. Nobody wanted this. Okay, honestly, it sucks as much as to have the rocket Oculus into my Facebook. You're right, getting pissed about this is way more effort than for. Than just making a four way Facebook account. Yeah, as well, you know, most people just make a Facebook account just so they can log in the games easier. It's possible to create a big Facebook account, but you need to craft a believable identity beforehand. This process cannot be simply compared to punching a random username in Steam or Epic Game Store. Once you start to swatch in a Facebook account, a couple will use your Oculus data to personalize content and stuff here. And yeah, that's kind of what they have been doing for a while. And yes, Facebook is not using is. Yeah, that people are just don't like this. So in the entire gaming community, the or at least the Oculus community, because not the entire gaming community, because not every person owns Oculus. There are other VR headsets out there, such as Sony's PlayStation VR and other ones as well. But yep, people are now angry that the fact that Facebook is now the stu is now forcing you to log in. And I won't be surprised as now a boy- boycott of Oculus, and then people will start buying other VR headset come sets from other companies so they don't have to do this at all so that's basically it goodbye